Happy Saturday. I am so glad you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the space-time continuum, that you are having a good day, that you're easing into the day, that you don't feel rushed, that you're taking things at your own pace, a pace that works for you, a pace that works for your body, a pace that works for your spirit. I was gonna apologize for not getting the reading out early like I usually do. And then I'm like, it's Saturday. There's no time frame when things need to get done. So there's no apology needed. Um, things happen in the universe's time. I hope that today you are spending some time feeding your soul, getting a nap in. I hope that you can take a good nap today. Naps are so underrated. They're so underrated. They're so, so, so underrated. All right, what do we need to know for this last day of summer? Autumn equinox is tomorrow morning. I think like for where I live, it's like 8.34 in the morning. So autumn equinox, last day of summer, and true to form where I live, it is definitely a summer-like day. It is definitely a summer day. What do we need to know on this last day of summer? What do we need to know? Ooh. Hanged man reversed. Stagnation, stubbornness, holding on to something that doesn't belong to you, tendency to be the martyr, mm, self-sabotage, ouch, ouch, very ouch, much ouch for a Saturday. What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to that is no longer meant for you? That at one point in your life, was there to protect you, but is now no longer needed. What views, what ideas, what beliefs, the words that you use to talk to yourself, what, what patterns are you seeing in these things that you are holding on to? Sorry, I keep having coughing fits. In these things that are, you are holding on to, that no longer serve you. What are they? Write them down and then either tear them up, burn them, let them go. At one point in time, these things were there to protect you from criticism, from being bullied, from as, as a coping skill for the trauma you were enduring. But they're not needed anymore. It is a, and I said this yesterday, said this yesterday, it is a huge time of healing. The universe needs you. You are waking up. The veil of the matrix is being lifted. And you, we, are being called by the universe to help guide those who are still veiled, who want to remove the veil. There are a ton of people who don't want to remove the veil. And that's okay. That is where they are. And that is their path. But there are a lot of us, a lot of people who either have the veil removed, who want to remove the veil, and they need you to guide them. But you cannot guide them if you continue to hold on to these old belief systems. It's time to let them go. It's time to like really let them go to change how you talk to yourself, to change how you see yourself, to let yourself be seen 
by others because of the gifts and the talents that you bring to the table. Stop being stubborn. Let go of these fears, these insecurities, these ideas that you are not worthy of healing. Because you are. And the reason you are is for the sheer fact that you exist. And you, my beautiful friends, are literally a child of the universe. She chose to express and experience life through you. Nobody holds the fucking universe back. She is a force to be reckoned with. Let go of the stubbornness. Let go of the fear. Step into your power so you can help those who are working on unveiling see the truth, see that there is a better future, See that these options that the white supremacist capitalistic system in which we live is not the one that the universe wants for us. So stop being a stubborn ass. Also, I'm getting called out too. <laughs> Have an amazing Saturday. T get, take a nap. Take a nap. <laughs> Do some journaling, do something that feeds your soul, and I will see you soon.